Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. A 68 years old female attend the post-operative hernia clinic. She reports some visual difficulty on examination. She is noted to have homonymous hemianopia where the lesion most likely to be. So here key points is the on examination she is noted to have homonymous hemianopia and where is the lesion so we have to find out uh, the location for which or lesion in this area causes homonymous hemianopia here are the options the options are frontal lobe pituitary gland parietal lobe optic chiasma and optic tract so to know details about this condition first of all we have to see the visual pathway so here we can see this is the normal visual pathway here we can see the right eye and left eye and we know that light uh, focused directly on the retina and here the retina so from the retina optic nerve is formed and optic nerve then optic chiasma from the optic chiasma optic tract uh, on the both side then lateral geniculate body then optic radiation on the both side and finally it traces the occipital cortex so it is the normal visual pathway again from retina then optic nerve then optic chiasma then optic tract lateral geniculate body optic radiation and finally visual cortex of the cerebral hemisphere so this is the normal visual pathway uh, so here we can see the second picture here this is the normal pathway that means this is the retina then optic uh, nerve optic chiasma optic tract here the lateral geniculate body optic radiation and finally this is the visual cortex and we can see the homonymous hemianopia here this is the homonymous hemianopia and this is also homonymous hemianopia so homonymous hemianopia it located in the fourth and fifth position that means this area and this is the optic you can see this is the optic tract so any lesion in the optic tract it may causes homonymous hemianopia and number five here this fiber and this fiber is the optic radiation so optic tract and optic radiation if any lesion occurs optic tract or any lesion occurs optic radiation these two area lesion may causes the homonymous hemianopia and number three area here we can see this is the nasal hemianopia number three this is the number three this is the optic chiasmatic area and number two here it is also in the optic chiasma but in longitudinal direction it causes bitemporal hemianopia and when the optic nerve damage that means no signal goes and for this total blindness so our main focus here the homonymous hemianopia homonymous hemianopia may occur from the optic tract or may occur from optic radiation in this picture also we can see this is the homonymous this is the homonymous hemianopia and this homonymous hemianopia may occur in the optic radiation or optic Tract. so our final answer this is the optic tract and here no optic radiation so our answer is the optic tract for the lesion in the optic tract may develop the homonymous hemianopia here some important notes here let's see the notes the monoocular vision less that means one-sided total blindness when optic nerve lesion occur then bitemporal hemianopia occurs when optic chiasmatic lesion then homonymous hemianopia when optic tract lesion upper quadrianopia when temporal lobe lesion lower quadrianopia when parietal lobe lesion so these information are very very important for the exam so let's memorize again monoocular vision loss that means total blindness of the one eye it's due to optic nerve lesion then bitemporal hemianopia due to optic chiasmatic lesion then homonymous hemianopia due to optic tract or optic radiation lesion 
upper quadrianopia due to temporal lobe lesion and lower quadrianopia due to parietal lobe lesion. Thank you, Bob.